and through the mist there appeared a flag. Welcome down to the executive course at the wonderful Wentworth, where myself and Rick, man bathed in Under Armour, are having a match and we're having an overall match and then a parts match. Rick has won the first match and he's two under through the uh, four holes that were played so far. Struggling through I, the fog. Yeah, I am level. Do you not pick it up? Can't do it through the fog. Yeah, we've got, we're trying to bushnell everything because it's so foggy, it's just bouncing off. It's about a hundred yards, I think. Maybe just a touch more. I'd say, yeah. I reckon about a hundred? I'd say about a uh, hill. One ten up the hill, I'd say. What you got? Quite a bottleneck, a little gap wedge. A little gap wedge. So I'm determined to win this part and the match overall. Oh, wow. And this means holding some tee shots. <laughs> A little gappy. Oh, be good. Oh, be good. That looks big. It does look big, actually, yeah. It was right, it was right on it. If it's grabbed the back, it might have had some spin. It seemed to take an, an alarmingly big first bounce. It was all over it though, wasn't it? It was, it was. Mm, it's a shame. It is a shame. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> I bet you think that way. I am, um, I'm gutted, for, I'm not saying, I'm not going to say I'm personally disappointed. You don't know yet, don't get too confident just yet, it might be good. I'm disappointed for you. By the way guys, look at this, look at this mansion here by the side of the tea. And it's just gone Halloween. We've got some nice festive Halloween balloons up. Milkwood House. Imagine trick or treating there, Pete. Oh, you'd get some good candy there. <laughs> you'd get some incredibly good candy. So I'm going to go similar approach. Little gap wedge. No Harry Bows there. Super packs. Oh, it's a bit wow, left. Oh, it's a Miss Green, Peter. It's a Miss Green. Came out very strange. <laughs> well, that was well, unexpected. Well, well. So Ricky's very dead. <laughs> very close to being dead. I wouldn't say you're dead. I'd say you're you're kind of on intensive how, care. How have I hit it? Twenty yards too far. Well, we did kind of guesstimate the yardage a little bit. Twenty yards too far. Anyway, it's a good strike though. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, oh, just gotta try and give it a, yeah, okay. <laughs> try and give it a bash from there if you can. It's like a one inch punch, this. <laughs> it's like. Mate, you've got the hand speed, you can do this. I think? Yeah. Well, uh, go, 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 go on, go on. It's pretty good from there, mate. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I think, take that every I think day. you should be happy with yourself. Well, I, I'm extremely happy there, Pete, because I really didn't want to take a drop on a par three. <laughs> <laughs> didn't want to lose a ball on a par three course. So, yeah, I managed to get it onto the green somehow. Uh, Pete is just off the green, but now in the driving seat. <laughs> I can't get over how far I've hit that. I've hit it way too far. Distance control on that is dreadful. Nice chip. Yeah, well executed. It's running away from you a little bit, but nice nice shot. So about the uh, blower noise in the background, some big gardens around here that need clearing. Uh, Rick is going to have a pretty slick put down here. If you uh, kind of take what happened to my chip into consideration, it swung a lot near the end, so it must be very steeply downhill. So this for a par. Should come from Rick's right. Here it comes down. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's never going to be a uh, an easy up and down there. <laughs> Quite the opposite. You can put this in, don't do anything rash.
Yeah, I'm lucky, okay, mate. Miss Q. Miss Q. Put that down yeah. to. Miss Q. So, bogey. I go back to uh, one under for the round. Pete's got his for par to. Claw one back. Claw one back in this part and overall. Yeah, well done. On to the next. All with a palm. Right, guys, sixth hole. Uh, quite a long way down the hill. This would be very valuable if Bushnell works here, but you can just see how ridiculously foggy it is. I just don't think it's going to pick it up. Yeah. What a shame. We'll test it again in the future, but today is just not the day. To be fair, it's picking up the bunker. It's 142, but with a slope, you say it's playing 132. So, like 10 yards difference? Yeah. So it's a 10 yard slope. Oh, it's a bit clearer now. So one, three, two. So this setting that we've got it in the slope setting when it's got the red cap on it, the red front, that is a non-conforming setting. And it means that it actually allows the slope to be measured. On, in a tournament, we wouldn't be able to have that setting on. We'd have to turn it into the black cap, which doesn't have the slope. Um, but it's good because a lot of time, Bushnells, you'd have to buy a slope version or a conforming version yeah. where this is both in one, which is I think, clever. I think I got it as one four one. I think so. Take the 10 yards off, or no, there's one four one with the 10 yards. Okay, so just gonna take a little wedge. So it's playing like one three one, one one three two that around that mark. No, it's playing one four one. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah it's so playing it's, one four one. Yeah, yeah it's okay. about one five one, but it's playing one four one. Well, it's a completely club difference, isn't it? Yeah. We'd be taking it. And it, it's downhill, but I don't know, maybe not as noticeable downhill as you would expect. Pin is very much at the back of this green. The plan would be to land it middle of the green and take a big hop, but I'm not sure it will do today. It's going to be tough today. Depends on the flight we play it at. So a little wedge for Pete. Oh, it's right on it. Whoa. Short? Yeah. Thought I'd played a really good shot there. It's throwing up this, uh, these conditions, isn't it? That was, a, that was a nice, soft, kind of easy wedge, that. I'm going to go soft nine, though. It's either a soft nine or a hard wedge. I think with the pin at the back, I'm going to go soft so I don't get too much yeah, rippage. Yeah, so I was wise. I'm a bit disappointed by that. I thought it was a good shot there. Yeah, it was all on it, wasn't it? I'm trying out some uh, new clubs today. I heard it clip a tree. Is that that tree just a weeping willow to the right? That's long, that isn't it? I'm sure. I'll tell you what, I think we're better off without laser finders. <laughs> we shouldn't miss green, should we? It's <laughs> poor, isn't it? Poor, oh, come on, negative. No, it's poor. It's not good enough, Pete. I'm happy with my shot. <laughs> Going with? Did you match? Okay. Second time well, <laughs> being used on this hole. My opinion was that it really, it kind of let me down first time. So it's going to have to make up right now. Okay. I look opinion. like I'm pin high there, just, well, not pin high, to the right of the green. <laughs> not happy with the direction of that shot. Don't know why that was so bad. No, it's going to be all right. Come on. No, no, good. Still one under at the moment. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Very nicely controlled. Thank you very much. Good shot. Thanks. So, after a misjudgment of the tee shot, pretty happy with the chip to be fair. Rick's not happy with his bit of a block. You lying okay? Yeah, just a bit of leafage around, but nothing too bad. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do about that.
Okay. Good camera work, that Pete. Oh, Whoa, hello. Fantastic bounce. Lovely bounce, that, mate. How bad does that bounce? I'd be disappointed if I had a bounce like that. That, that was an awful bounce. I landed that to the leaf that I wanted to hit. To be honest, it just kicked straight left. Ouch. So after that horrific bounce, really, <laughs> uh, Rick has a chance to say, "Pa, I tell you what, Rick, you're not going to let you're going to let me back into this if you're not careful." This this really has to drop. Yeah, because I know how annoyed you're going to be driving back home if I win this now. Like that, that little smiling face ain't going to be talking to me on the way home. <laughs> it's better go in then, aren't it? Go on, Speedy. You've all. <laughs> You've held some good putts today. Let's make it another one, come on. Hold, hold. Oh, it wanted to go, it wanted to go. He was, slipping. he was slipping into the bottom of the cup. That's what he was doing, Peter. <laughs> Oh. It's a good up and down though, mate. Mm, yeah, interesting one. <laughs> interesting one. <laughs> oh, God. Need make, to go back to Mr. Cromwell and get your psychology sorted out. I'm making a, uh, a very easy home look very difficult there. But anyway, it's a par. Onwards and upwards. Pete's got this for par to stay only one shot adrift. Yeah, good putt, well done, on to the next. Right guys, so Bushnell did work on this hole as the fog starts to lift, and it actually measured at 78 to the pin as the crow flies, but with a two yard uphill increment. So oh, it's yeah. playing at 80 yards. Yeah. So we, comfortable over this one. Are you going to go with Pierre? Uh, sandwich. Okay. Only a small one, I don't want him ripping and spinning everywhere. Just want it settling by the pin. A little tickler. Smooth as you like. Oh, yes, tasty. <laughs> tasty. Nice shot, well done. Thank you very much. What are you going to go with? Uh, I'm going to go 56. Same swing? As mine? As <laughs> yours? I mean, I'd recommend it, it's pretty close. It's not bad, is it? I'd aim slightly further right. A tiny bit shorter. Come on, let's get some birdies. Rick's deep into his pre-shot routine there. It's a good strike. Long? It's a little bit long, I suppose, because I pulled it a bit there. It's gone a bit longer. Lovely, boy. Lovely strike again, though, I have to say, mate. I think you are striking it pretty well today. Apart from the last time. Too well. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rick, just after the green, a tee peg is where my ball is. So, you're going to try and come in around that? Yeah, it's going to swing quite a bit off the right. A collection of kind of leaves to the right. I'm going to aim for the second one. These ones? Yeah. Okay. I like it. It's going to come down. It's going to be quite fast. Yeah, pretty quick from where you are as well, I think. Come on down. 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 Come down. Very well judged, David. Nice putt. Mm, yeah, I started it. I won't start it then. I literally started it there. <laughs> Had the read good. Very good, there. Easy mm, par. Yeah. Still one under. Still one under. Now this is your chance to go one under, Pete. Yeah, my chance to, to join you. To join the club. Join the, the club. Join the crew. It's a good club. I want to be part of that club as well. It's exclusive. I 
like the club. The club's good. See, so lovely distance control on this one. It's uh, you've got a bit of idea of what it's going to do from my putt. Really, break. this is quite. Pace, isn't it, really? That's so it's quite inevitable where this is going to go. Fancy it. No, Peter. Peter, you had the line. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I didn't think that was going to stop short. <laughs> Just about two foot short. Par, stays at level with two holes left to play. Okay, guys, eighth hole, par three down the hill. What's it mapping at, Pete? Uh, 114. 114 to the pin. What was it without the slope? Uh, 118. Okay. Go for it. So I'm going to get, I'm just going to take a little wedge. So I don't want to hit a good high gappy in there. So a little controlled fade wedge. Not. Okay guys, we might have caught that clip that I just hit. The uh, zoom's a little bit slower on my handheld. The battery just effectively ran out as I hit my tee shot. Uh, 114 yards, little wedge, pretty much pin high down the hill. So it, played too at, bad. it played at what? What did Bushnell say it was? 118. Okay, uh, got four yard downhill. Four yard downhill, yeah. And you hit a little gap. A little gapper. Come on, Rick. I'm going to go this close. Okay, the zoom's quite slow, so get this nice and high, so I've got time. <laughs> That's zooming <even better. laughs> Go, go, pin. go, zoom go. On Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> it is good. What it is good once it gets going. This zoom. <laughs> Hang on. A while to get there. Hang on. Let me come all the way out. Hang on. I need to come all the way out to get your reaction. Hang on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How you feel about that? You happy? Awesome. <laughs> Great shot. <laughs> so we just got up to the green, and I'm actually a little bit closer. Uh, but these are proper. Uh, Plug balls. <laughs> Let me get it out. <laughs> Look at that. That's a proper plug mark. I've got mine over here. That's a... I'm pretty sure you get penalised shots with this in normal play, but just to show you. That's a big plug mark. Right, mate. So if you hold this, you've pretty much... Well, you've sealed out the whole match, pretty much. Well, no, actually, you no. Know, anything could happen on the last. There's a lot of water on the last. So I won't say anything. So this put to go to two under and take a two stroke lead unless I hold mine. Mm. Or if I hold oh, mine and you miss yours, that, yeah. then we're all level overall. We could both hold it. I don't see a lot in it. Uh, it feels squishy this green. I'm not sure how much that's going to affect the speed if I'm honest. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I don't know the squishiness scale <laughs> of uh, puts. <laughs> What's it doing on the squish chart? What's the squish meter say? I think this is uh, 82 on the squish meter, this one. You got it. He has pulled a few in from this distance. I will not put it past him. Oh, tell you what. Two cool. under, well, what a great putt. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, I bet you chuffed me. Oh, I am delighted. Okay, <laughs> so it's quite, it's quite odd this little camera on this monopod, isn't it? The size of that pitch, man. Monster. I'm going to use that as my ball mark, is that okay? Uh, <laughs> so you sure that's where your ball was? <laughs> I've got a strong case. That equator. Okay, so... I think you had it right, there's 82 on the squish meter, so... It only just dropped in, it only just squadged in. I think that went in at a very nice pace, if I'm honest with you. Thank you. Uh, right, so Pete's got this to go to one under, and keep the deficit as just the one, with one hole left to play. We all seem to come in from that way, so... There wasn't much in mine. I'm going to get this is just on the right edge. Put it well, so if I stroke it well, it's going to go in.
birdie birdie keeps it within one going down the final hole here at the executive course at Wentworth nice put mate so last hole all to play for I thought this was the hole we're going to that's the first my my mistake quite tricky quite tricky, tricky shot, pin that one yeah um, so it's 96 and plays 96 so it's completely level to the flag pin at the back which is always a bit tricky when the green's sloping from back to front certainly yep. on squishy-ish green squish me to 72 this one because if you get that pitching in there with too much spin it's going to struggle to get close really isn't it so I'm going to try and hit a uncomfortable shot for me an uncomfortable shot which is a very small chip like a chipping gap wedge okay it probably won't be it'll probably be a full swing gap wedge <laughs> but it'll feel like a chip Okay, let's see the magic as always. I will get as quickly on the zoom as possible. Oh no! I needed that spin. Just on the back there. You needed the spin. Hang on, let me do a slow motion zoom out to get your reaction. How are you feeling? That wasn't far away. No, that was almost very, very good. It's giving me a lot of inspiration for my shot. Mm, that was very close. Ah, uh, disappointing there. I thought I'd hit that. Well, seriously, how far did I swing that back, Pete? It was uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was how far back? It wasn't, no, it, it looked like the shot. I felt, I promise you, I felt like I chipped it. It was, it was tricky because it was a shot you call. I've changed clubs about six times. So I don't, I don't know. I'm going to try the same shot. I think you hit your wedges further than me. If I hit the same shot, I think I'm going to be a little bit further back. Oh, not as far, do you mean? <laughs> a little bit further back. Oh, pin high left. A little bit pulley, but a little bit pulley, but the distance I wanted, so. So I'm just at the back, pin's level with the pin. Oh, he's made it interesting on this final hole. That's what I'm an interesting kind of guy, Rick. It's taking ages to zoom back out. There we go. There he is. You want to put it? You'd be crazy. So Rick is here, he's got to come down the green. And it is very quick down here as well. Well, I say that, I've not seen any shots yet, but it looks very quick. Mine is pretty much pin high. It's got a big break that way. It's doable though. So you are going to put it. I just can't afford to let you in. If I... I'm not a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't do put this. I just can't afford to let you in. <laughs> Some uh, people on the uh, first of the par three. I have to scream too loud if it goes in. Oh no, I don't think he's hit it. I don't think he's hit it. He's not hit it. He's not hit it. Can't shout too loud to guy about to tee off. Oh, I would have given that some big legs. Mate, you didn't hit it. I was really scared of it. <laughs> scared? <laughs> oh, I feel really like you in there. So if this drops, I have to hold mine for a half. If this doesn't drop, I have to hold mine for a win. Which way it's going to come in. Yeah, it's uh, you don't need too much help on the read of this, are you? Just how much it's going to come in, and at what speed, and at what point. I need a leaf blow to get rid of some of these. Like. And, the, and the squish factor. Actually, you know what? This is actually firmer. A lot firmer yeah. Than I, I mean, squish of maybe only 56 on this one side. Okay, we got it wrong. So.
this is to really pile on the pressure here. If this goes in, I have to hold mine just for a half. Just for a half, Pete. I know. Oh, I know. I know. Be gut wrenching. Be gut wrenching. It really would. Dying. Dying of happiness. Right mate, you know what? I know you know, I know we have our differences and we <laughs> we joke around a lot, but I honestly do want to see this go in. You do because you're driving home, miss. I know. Come on, I, I wanna see this go in, mate. Look at him. It's not an easy one. Stalking it like a panther in under armour. Alright, I'll, I'll get out of the way for you. Crikey. <laughs> well, I've already won the uh, second part match anyway, but this could be a uh, a real turn up for the books. I mean, books would literally be turned upside down. Okay, got it. Okay, come on, mate, knock it in. Gonna be a long drive home. Let me get slow motion zoom. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I honestly can't believe that's. Just I'll, bad. I'll give you that if you want. No. Do you want to get in? I'm going to lose, I might as well lose by many. Okay, well then. Ouch. So, you know what, I, I, I didn't want it to finish like that. But you didn't. Um, <laughs> but I, you know what, I'm happy, it's been a good game, mate. Unlucky. Pleasure. I enjoyed that, I did. It was good. And that was a horrendous finish. And this is a cracking little course here, the executive at Wentworth. And thank you, Wentworth, for allowing us to come play. Um, subscribe to the channels. <laughs> oh, if, so if, if you've not subscribed to Rick already, um, he, he really does need a lot of love right now. Um, <laughs> subscribe to myself oh. as well uh, in the description below. And thank you for watching. Now, I have to endure the longest drive <laughs> home. You're not ever. even you're not even getting in the car, you're walking. Look at this. Don't no, don't do it for me. <laughs>